When you start investing, there are a lot of basic concepts that you need to grasp. One of the absolute basics is being able to accurately calculate your profits. And this may seem like a very basic calculation, but honestly, I am shocked at how many people constantly get this wrong when they're sending me questions, wondering how much they should actually be paying tax on. So in today's video, I just want to cover off some of these basics so people are never in doubt. In most jurisdictions, the method that you need to use to calculate your profits is the FIFO method. What the FIFO method stands for is first in, first out. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Let's say for example that I own five Apple shares and I want to sell one of them. According to the FIFO rule, I will be always selling my oldest Apple share first. Let's go through an example here now just to see it more clearly. Just before we get into the example, if you could take some time out to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. Let's go through this simple example here now. So this person bought one Apple share on the 1st of January and the price at that time was 129 euro. So that cost them obviously 129 euro. And on the 1st of February, they decided to buy two more shares. And at that time, the price was 133 euro. So the total cost was 266 euro. And then on the 1st of August, they decided to buy another two shares. And at this time, the price was 150 euros. So the total cost of that transaction was 300 euro. But then it came to the 1st of December and the price had continued to rise and they wanted to cash in on some of their gains. So they decided they wanted to sell two shares. And at that time, the price of Apple was 178 euro. So the total redemption amount was 356 euro for selling two shares. So how do you actually calculate the profit on that using the FIFO method? So as I was saying, the FIFO method means first in, first out. So when he was selling these two shares, he was selling the two oldest shares that he has first. So if we come up here now to the profit calculation. So if I take the two oldest shares that this person has, and that will be our cost. So the oldest one they bought was on the 1st of January, and that was 129 euro, but they only bought one share there. The second oldest one they bought then will be here on the 1st of February in this transaction. So they bought two shares here, so one of these is being sold now. So one of them at 133 euro, that, that is going to go into my cost here. So then I have a total cost of 262 euro. And then my sales price, as I calculated down below, was 356 for those two shares. And that gives me a profit of 94 euro on those shares. And that is exactly how you calculate it. Whenever you sell any of your stocks or your crypto, it is always going to be the oldest assets that you're going to be selling first. Now, in most jurisdictions, there is just one situation in which this FIFO rule does not apply. And that is in a case when you have bought and sold the same shares within a four week period. In those situations, you calculate your profit on the shares that you bought within the same four week period. So let's go through another simple example here just to explain it a bit more clearly. So we have a very similar example here to the last one. A person bought one share in January, another share in February, and then they bought two shares of Apple on the 15th of November for $150. And then it was a total cost there of $300. And then they decided to sell two shares two weeks later on the 1st of December. So as we can see here, they bought two Apple shares on the 15th of November and sold them on the 1st of December. That is within a four week period. For that transaction, then the FIFO method did not apply. What you would do then to calculate your profit in that case is take your cost as two shares at 150, which was the cost of the shares that you bought on the 15th of November. And the amount you sold them at is the exact same at $356. So you made a profit then of 56 in this case. Now there is another situation that we could also talk about here is, let's say you sold your shares at a loss and then bought them back a few days later. That is what we call a wash sale and most taxmen do not like this because they see it as you trying to manipulate your taxes so you're paying a lot less. So they have extra rules set up here to try and limit you. I have a whole other video that goes through this in a bit more detail. I will leave a link to this here and also in the description section if anybody wants to check that one out. But I hope that all made sense and if anybody has any questions on how to actually calculate your profits then leave me know in the comment section. As it is a very important concept that you should be able to grasp. It's almost coming up on a year now since I decided that I wanted to give this YouTube channel a proper go and post about two videos a week. I just want to take a moment to basically thank anybody who has either watched or liked or commented or even disliked in the last year. 
I really appreciate all the support so far. It has been a lot of hard work but it has definitely been worth it. And just because it is December I'm going to be donating basically anything that the channel makes in the month of December to a local charity. The channel made about €343 Euro on Google AdSense revenue last month so hopefully it will be something similar again. So thanks very much for watching and hopefully I will see you back here again in the next couple of videos.